Hi there, lovely friends. Let's continue our English learning journey with GTA. The vocabulary that I'll be sharing will be in the description with more example sentences for you to read. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Daddy's been a bad boy. Please, son. <laughs> you wanna... <laughs> the first word of the day is incoherent. Incoherent language is not understood. He's using words that are nonsensical. He goes, yeah, blah, blah. this is also called gibberish. You can use the verb spout. He is spouting gibberish. Words that are meaningless, nonsensical. The sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> oh. He takes a sniff and it goes straight to his head. It hits him very hard. <laughs> That's why he starts to stagger, stagger across the floor. When you stagger, you find it very hard to maintain your balance or to walk properly. See, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. I'm just trying to pay my patriotic duty. Let's talk about the word patriotism, which means someone's love and support for their country. The adjective is patriotic. Some people are more patriotic than others. They care more about their home country. Oh man, it's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? <laughs> and this lady comes along and slaps him in the face. In literature, in novels, sometimes you'll see the word smite, which also means to hit someone forcefully. Smite. No. <laughs> And Michael cracks up. When you crack up, you start to laugh suddenly. Wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? He says, Mikey, you want a beer? And then he yanks the fridge door open. To yank is to pull something forcefully. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I don't have any low car. Uh, fuck you. <sighs> And then he tosses that bottle. He tosses means he throws it. He chucks it. So where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah. I was out trying to put some people in their place. I was just trying to teach someone a lesson so that they don't get too cocky. They don't get too uh, arrogant. You know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit, the picket fences, the fucking happy endings. The picket fences, the uh, happy endings. This is a perfect lifestyle. If you say he wants the white picket fence, that means this person wants a perfect and ideal lifestyle. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you've gone. Man, 10 years in the sun, your brain has melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. When you say you're gone, it means that you are totally crazy. You're not thinking reasonably anymore. What is balance, huh? Huh? That I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? And sticking up joints, I love that phrase. To stick up a joint means to rob that place, to take its money and jewelry illegally, to stick up a joint. Join here means a place. You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, sane, 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 okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. <laughs> and they clink the bottles. Anyways, thank you so much for your company. I hope you've learned a word or two from this.